Sean Diddy Combs residences raided by federal agents amid socks trafficking claims the music mogul was served a fifth sexual assault lawsuit included allegations of horizontal moving trafficking last month this is by the hollywood reporter hey y'all how y'all doing it's about time they raid his place but they took so long he probably forgot all got rid of all the evidence anyways cause be sure to subscribe and thumbs up girl let me just read this real quick Holmes belong belonging to sean diddy combs in los angeles new york and my miami were raided by federal agents on Monday, a month after the music mogul was sued for sex wall trafficking, among other allegations. A representative for Homeland Security Investigations New York said in a statement that the investigation was executed as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from Home HSI LA, HSI Miami, and our local enforcement partners. They added that we will provide further information as it becomes available. Representatives for Comb did not respond to requests for comment. <clears throat> the rate comes about one month after Combs were served a sexual assault lawsuit from producer Rodney Lou Rogers, who accused the music mogul of harassing and trafficking him. The complaint was the fifth suit filed against the rapper since his former longtime partner, Cassie, whose real name is Cassandra Ventura, sued him in November for a sox wall assault. In a statement on Monday, Douglas Widder Wigdor, a lawyer for Ventura, said that we will always support law enforcement when it seeks to produce, persecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. Ventura who accused Combs of repeatedly graping and physically abusing her for nearly a decade that she stayed, later reached a settlement with Combs. In a statement at the time, Combs lawyer Benjamin Brathman clarified that the decision to settle was in no way an admission of wrongdoing. Yes, it was, sir. Subsequent lawsuits against Combs include accusations from a woman who was a minor at the time of the alleged assault and a claim that Combs forced Jones to solicit socks. Uh, workers for the Bad Boy Records found a multiple suits also alleged that Combs drugged his victims, and one included a claim that he choked a woman until she passed out, later urging her not to report the incident. Combs has con consistently denied all allegations, saying in a statement last December that I did not do any of the awful things they be they've been alleged. Uh, in a statement, this February, Combs lawyer, Sean Hollery, said Jones' claims of assault and tra trafficking were pure fiction. Wow, it's about time. It only took y'all six months to go, go, go raid the place. I mean, he probably got rid of all the evidence already. Okay, we've been hearing for years what P. Diddy's doing to them little boys. Well, those people. Mm, we've been hearing for years, and it's about time. It's about time he get the he get the the his victims get the justice that they deserve. All right, cousin. I just want to jump on. I'm about to go go make my husband some dinner, but I wanted to jump on really quick and let y'all know this is what's going on. So maybe by the year is out, they'll charge him. Okay. And uh, uh, ladies, listen, in my book, 23 Types of Guys You Might Meet, I talk about Mr. Record Deal. These are the men who come like P. Diddy and offer you record deals that they're going to give you record deals and they they traffic you and, and, and do all kind of sort of stuff with you and all of this stuff. But anyways, if y'all want to show me love and support my books are on Amazon, please show me love and support. Leave reviews for me. I want to remind you the husband profile course, it's probably going to begin the week of after the sixth because 
my baby has spring break and we might be doing something. We might just be taking some time off. Dance for Data is coming very soon. Alexa for Boutique, I am moving into a new platform because Shopify is trying to play in my face and Shopify will not play in my face. Okay. I love you. I love, remember, I have free samples of my books. If you're not connected to me on my blog, Janice Soto, excuse me, mentor, be sure to connect with me and get those free samples. Comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this. Justice is about to be served. All right, y'all. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye.